Whenever America has done great things, whenever America has taken on its biggest challenges, it's been citizens in the lead. By the year 2018, people predict that there will be 3 million new jobs in science, technology, engineering, and math, but we won't have the homegrown talent to fill those jobs. And the reason is we're not having enough girls, we're not having enough African-American and Latino kids, we're not having enough low-income kids study those subjects in school and move towards those careers. Our goal at US 2020 is to recruit 1 million STEM mentors by the year 2020 as a game changer for American education. Private sector and average citizens have a big role to play in addressing the STEM education challenge. We need to find a way to get millions of scientists and engineers off the sidelines and into America's classrooms, into America's after-school programs, bringing moments of discovery to children where kids get a chance to build robots, to program computers, to design experiments, and really experience those moments of discovery that can help make the future possible. I thought that only men did science, but now that I see it, that women also do science, so that really inspired me to be a, a scientist when I grew up. So that's when uh, you keep it in a sub-zero yeah. temperature. Now that I know what a lab looks like, I can actually make a mental picture on on how it would look like if I actually worked inside a laboratory. I was surprised at how much, how excited the kids were to be learning science because I don't really see that in kids these days. It's only right that I give back and it helps students fulfill their potentials and really tap into some of that curious nature and some of that energy that they have. Amani, you want to help out? Maybe you can help out Rudy on what GPU stands for? Team. 